This month is Autism Awareness Month. The CDC says one in 36 children in the U.S. is diagnosed with the disorder, which can lead to social, communication, and behavioral challenges. WFMY News 2's Sydney Moore spoke with a Greensboro mother who shared her son's journey through life with autism. As a six-year-old, he's very smart. Two plus one. Jackson Burns equals three. Loves to learn math, play with action figures, and spend time with his older brother, Isaiah. Who's the best at hide and seek? Me, Isaiah. He's really good. When he's in the kitchen. Here, you make a sandwich and you make a sandwich. Here you go. Jackson enjoys helping his mother prepare food. He is one of my best friends. Spending time with Jackson is a joy, as his mother, Aria Pardo, would say, but behind his smile and cheerful spirit. Right here. The six-year-old has dealt with challenges ever since he was a baby. He walked a little later than other children. Um, he didn't start speech until between two and a half to three years old. Um, he got frustrated a lot when he wanted something and not being able to verbalize it. Jackson lives with autism spectrum disorder. It causes him to have difficulty with social interaction. Which can mean difficulties with the nonverbal aspects of interaction, like gestures, facial expressions, eye contact, difficulties forming and man maintaining relationships. Dr. Jenna Mendelson, a clinical psychologist at Cone Health, works with Jackson. She says a psychological evaluation needs to be conducted on a child if a parent has concerns about their development. An evaluation should include a detailed developmental history and that's to establish that those characteristics are there and were there early in childhood. A measure of adaptive functioning, which is what a person is able to do on a day-to-day -day basis. After Pardo got her son evaluated, that's when he started to receive services. It started with speech because he was nonverbal, but then with him falling a lot, having accidents, it went to them knowing he needed some physical therapy and occupational therapy. Between the ages of one and three especially, there's a critical neurological window during which early interventions can be exponentially beneficial for kids. So we want to get kids in as early as we can. While Jackson continues to navigate through his autism, Pardo says she is grateful she recognized her son needed psychological attention. You just never stop just because someone says no if you know your child needs help. That's why she encourages other mothers to always be aware of their child's needs.